So in a typical iterative workflow, a protein variant library design is made using a number of computational tools, and we'll call this sort of a Gen N library. Uh, this library is then built and experimentally tested in the foundry to generate assay labeled data sets. And so now we have a data set where we have a set of related but slightly perturbed protein sequences um, from the library, along with their performance data or how well they behaved in an experimental test. And so you have a protein sequence to performance data set. Um, and then we use OWL platform to train a suite of supervised models and optimize their performance with the goal of having the models learn the sequence to activity relationships. And now these models are used in uh, to design new protein sequences. And so we take these predictions, design a new library around them, and we'll call that a gen n plus one library and build and test them as before. And when this is working, um, what you see is that the, the predicted performance um, from the model correlates with the actual performance observed experimentally. And I, I can't stress enough that what's critical to make this work is having data sets of sufficient quality as well as size. Um, a scale does matter such that the model can actually learn meaningful relationships about the enzyme. Um, and that's where the beauty of Ginkgo's experimental foundry comes in to supply the gasoline for our design engine.